Another point about just added fixation. So, you know, this, these are, these are osteoporotic patients that we're dealing with, right? That's why they're getting hip fractures. I mean, you know, we take, once we take out like the high energy ones, are you ever using like the U clip, you know, basically using yeah. their U clip around this to, you know, increase the fixation proximally, like, like they're what, what they call the RC lag screw. When, when are you using it? Are you ever using it? Um, I'll probably use that maybe five or six times a year. I just used one uh, this month, whether it was a week or two weeks ago. Um, the particular case that I used it was a peri implant fracture that actually had a short nail in a very large canal that the patient fell and fractured through the proximal, through the distal screw hole, you know, at the mid, mid shaft right. of the femur. Um, huge toggling effect, didn't have good canal control. And then um, be because it was a previous blade that was in, I removed the blade, removed the nail, clamped and got an anatomic reduction, put a long cephal measure nail like this in the gamma, use a long gamma four, and then use the RC lag screw to literally do what the name implies, such that I'm now kind of carving into a previous path that's already been placed. In that particular case, the previous blade that was in was actually placed in a good center center position. So that would be my desired place. Oftentimes, if you get lucky, and you have to revise, maybe they're posterior, superior, what have you, you can pick a new place to get some clean, fresh bone as long as it's safe for your overall fixation pattern. But um, more in a revision setting, I've used the RC lag screw. Occasionally in a very osteoporotic person, I would use an RC lag screw. It's not often, uh, but I do think it has a role when you want to control a little more rotation just because it then uh, advances beyond the threads of the screws. So you get a little more rotational control um, and you get a little more resistance to cut out. And well, and when I say cut out, really, really, I mean is resistance to varus collapse.